because I've been able to grab and shed tackles. Um, you know, it's just a big adjustment, but I'm okay. You know, I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, skill set hasn't lost it. I haven't lost it, so I'm out there doing what I can. You know, hopefully I'll be out there Sunday. He's giving it his all, and he's going to play in Tampa on Sunday, maybe. Jason Pierre-Paul back practicing with the Giants. Ryan Clark is still here with us. Please tell America and these two why <laughs> JPP is going to be the difference maker. Well, what kind of question was that? I thought I we had objectivity that, on this show. Oh, well, you know, called an audible. Uh, I don't know. I, I think this show, we, we kind of have our yeah, favorites. I think we, we kind of have mm, our favorites. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I mean, this, this NFC East race is so, so jumbled. Anybody can help. <laughs> and if I just gave up 52 points, yeah. I'd accept anybody back. I'd try to bring back, I'd call Michael Strahan and see if I could get him off of TV <laughs> That's true. right yep. now. If I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know this. But the bright side, y'all scored 49. So that's mm -hmm. good. Um, I'm not worried about JPP being able to rush the passer. I was very interested in seeing his hand. I am really scary. I don't do like anything adventurous. I'm not jumping out of planes. Mm -hmm. I'm not bungee Neither jumping. I. I don't do firecrackers. So I didn't even know what an injury like this would look like. When I saw his hand, it looked like he was holding a grenade. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the first thing I thought to myself is, can he shoot his hands? Can he shed blockers? What do you mean by I, shoot his hands? When you shoot your hands, so defensive line and offensive line play is about getting position being inside so if he can shoot his hands grab cloth in order in order to pull himself through or swim over try to find ways to shoot his hands keep his outside arm free so well, he, he can't can see grab the ball cloth with one hand and so and, that. and and that's what i'm worried about i think he immediately helps this pass rush which is basically non-existent for the new york giants he comes in and he's able to do that i don't know if he can be the three down player that he once was it's going to be hard from a conditioning standpoint because nothing gets you prepared to play football, except for playing football. So he's going to have to play himself back into shape in order to be effective down in and down out. I do think he immediately gives them something on third down in sub packages as far as getting after quarterbacks. And if you look at the quarterbacks in this league, there's no, there's no studs in the NFC East right now. Until Tony Romo's back, which I heard you earlier being upset that it can't happen for three more yeah. weeks. There's really not a premier guy to get after. So I think he helps the rush immediately. I don't think he does enough, I'm sorry, Molly, mm -hmm. to change the race for the NFC East. They have to get better in the secondary and find ways to stop people from throwing the ball over. This goes a long way at least getting pressure on the quarterbacks. Mm. Stephen A. We disagree, Mr. Clark. Here's the deal. <laughs> when you look at the Giants, despite their struggles, Despite their struggles, they've still been in games. They are dead last. They rank dead last against the pass in the NFL. Number 32 overall. And by the way, in their eight games this year, they have nine sacks. Nine. Moore's got three. Cullen's got two. Nobody else has more than one. Nine sacks in eight games. That tells me they're not getting pressure on the quarterback. As a result, passing has been very efficient against them, and because of it, their defense has looked pathetic. Now, JPP, is he going to make that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things? Possibly not. But when you're dead last, there's nowhere to go but up. And I do believe they'll be a little bit better in that regard. And just being a little bit better on defense, I think, is going to help their offense. And I think as a result, things are going to come together for them. I think he will help them. So help just a little bit? Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, th I think he's good for a game. I think he's good for a game possibly, too, in terms of making a difference. He's not going to be the oh, reason they, well, won, they win or if lose. If he can help you win he, two games, that's yeah. that you well, win the game. We'll be up what, two after this weekend. But yeah. what, I'm saying is, what I'm saying is if you can get a few additional sacks or apply additional pressure, and as a result, your defense is able to play a little bit better because quarterbacks don't get an opportunity to sit back, take pictures, call their family members and say what's up while they're standing in the pocket to throw a pass. I think that ultimately helps. And if you have that going on, then the offense is going to get opportunities more. And with an Odell Beckham Jr., with the Ruben Randall, we're praying that Victor Cruz comes back. And I love me some Victor Cruz, and I'm Mr. Salsa. But here's the reality. Out of Victor Cruz that I'm looking at, damn it, hurry up, get out on the field. Because if you needed mm. your money, I think you'd be out there. I need to see Victor Cruz Stephen out a. on the damn football field. Let me add to that, too. Will Beatty, Prince of Mucamara, Larry Donnell, there's a bunch of guys that we're waiting for. 
That's weed? right. That's right. But I'm but I'm bring, it but is, but it's a weed. Yeah, she does not come but I'm bringing wow. in I'm bringing, like I'm bringing up Victor Cruz for a reason. What I fantasize about with the New York Giants, I want to see Victor Cruz, Ruben Randall and Odell Beckham Jr. on the field with Eli Manning at the same time. That is what I am salivating for. That is what I desperately mm. want. Okay. Before I go, I want to apologize to Molly but because in, in the meeting we had before the show, Brian Bork, our producer, and I, were oh, we, we were yeah. juvenile. We were insensitive <laughs> to Molly. We made some jokes about JPP's hand, and we shouldn't have done it. And we, we fireworks. And fireworks. Multiple. Right. We, we, and they Puns were really constantly, funny. constantly. The really whole meeting, funny. pun after pun. I <laughs> right, had to just right. take it. Okay. So, look, it's, it's, it was a serious accident. Now, why, to your point, why he would risk his livelihood playing with fireworks and like you said, these are big fireworks yes, that went indeed. off, man. I don't know, because I'm with you, especially if I had that livelihood to protect. I'm not doing anything remotely risky, such as motorcycle riding, bungee mm -hmm. jumping, skydiving, any of those things. And fireworks is in that category to me. Okay, so we're back to the question. Can he help? Well, well he certainly can't hurt, right? right? When you have allowed the most yards in the National Football League on defense, he cannot hurt your defense. Could he speed rush some where he doesn't have to grab cloth, where he just blows by somebody? Sure he could. If, if I have to see that video of him one more time going up against the blocking sled and pushing around, I, I don't want to see it what anymore. What is this just wooden play. thing he's just pushing play. at practice? Yeah, what is that? I don't even know what it is. They can't yeah. get a real sled, Molly, right. what was in that? New York? He's pushing some type of homemade sleigh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> They're resourceful. <laughs> Taxes are high in New York. Come yeah. on, give him a break. Yeah, so back to the big picture. Who's the team to beat right now in the NFC East? Giants. Everybody, because everybody's beatable, right? So, so nobody's the team to beat just yet. I'm going to stand by what I say. Even with JPP, and you're right, how can he be in any kind of real con like game condition now? I, I don't see it. It's going to be hot and sweaty in Tampa, and I don't know if he'll, they'll spot him a few times. Maybe he'll give you a rush or two. Do I see him you know, helping you win two games? I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not there. But big picture, I, I still say you're going to have a hard time winning this game at Buccaneers. I want to know what you think. You think the Giants the, are going to win against Tampa Bay? The are starting to come well, alive and come together. They just won at Atlanta. They did. They did. But they won that game because of mistakes. Mis, mis, uh, mishandled exchanges between the quarterback and the running back. Snaps not even getting up to Matt Ryan. And so I think those are the ways that the Buccaneers have to but win. But Jameis is playing Which, more careful football. Like he, a, I think what he said, one interception in the last no, four games. I'm a Jameis fan. Yeah. I think Jameis is going to be a franchise mm -hmm. quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I do think that right now their defense <laughs> isn't playing well. So I would pick the New York Giants to win this game yeah. this weekend. Okay. So I do want to give Molly a hand for taking a stand for wow. I'm mean, sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't wow. mean that. I meant I was going to applaud you wow. for, for your stance. Yeah, yeah, guess what? Your yeah. answer was yeah. fireworks. Okay, yeah, you. good one. Yeah. Real funny. <laughs> Stephen A., why are you not here today? Yeah. All right, Ryan, we'll see you in a bit. Because I don't miss him. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm missing you, even if it's one way. <laughs> After opening the season with three straight uh, wins, laughing.